The Garden Report is brought to you by FanDuel, the exclusive wagering partner of the CLNS Media Network. Hey, Bobby Manning here. Welcome to the Garden Report at Shoot Around Before Celtics Sixers Game 5. Ton of reaction continuing to Game 4, though, on Sunday just two days ago, the overtime thriller where the Celtics came back down double digits. Uh, had a chance to win in regulation, missed a Marcus Smart shot. Uh, had a chance to win in overtime as well in the same situation. Smart hit the three too late. So Celtics don't get a shot off. Down one on the final possession of overtime. Joe Mazzulla initially defended the execution on that play in the post game after. Uh, yesterday, he hopped on Zoom and admitted he should have called timeout in that spot. Explain the thought process in not calling a timeout at the end of regulation and overtime last night. Um, yeah, you, uh, something we talked about all year. Um, I trust our guys uh, to make the right play. Uh, prevents the other team from getting matchups off the floor, prevents the other team from getting their defense organized. And um, hindsight's always twenty twenty, so it sounds good to say, yes, we should have done this, but uh, we've prepared all year as a team to be able to take advantage of those situations. Uh, more times than not, it worked out for us. Uh, I thought at the end of regulation, uh, it worked out. We got the last shot, which is what you want. You know, you, know, you don't want to give them an opportunity to. Uh, at the end of overtime, you know, hindsight's twenty twenty. I should have called it to help us get a two-for-one or get a couple more possessions. Um, and so, you know, obviously with 14 seconds left down one, you want to get as many chances as you can. So, you know, I'll definitely learn from that. So we just talked with Malcolm Brogdon, Derek White, who said before uh, that Zoom yesterday at a film session, Missoula said the same thing to the team, uh, put that on himself, not getting the Celtics into a set there. But really, and this is a my overlook too, as we discussed it after that game, being down one with two timeouts, you want two shots at it. And Brian Scalabrini broke this down on uh, NBC's postgame show as well. The Garden Report is brought to you by FanDuel. New customers can get a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000 when you go to fanduel.com slash Boston. If you miss, you miss fast there so you can foul, get an offensive rebound, and even get fouled there. You want to have an opportunity to shoot free throws there at the basket. So bad execution all around. It makes a timeout call that I initially didn't have a huge uh, issue with there, the no timeout. A major coaching mistake by Missoula there. Now, James Harden's probably going to get the ball there, unless it's a loose rebound. You know, P.J. Tucker, whoever could have ended up with it. Uh, yeah. You want to give yourself that second shot there. Even if you're down three after two Philadelphia free throws, you launch a three and maybe you get lucky there. Said the Celtics went slow, uh, which is something Derek White said here that uh, was because they weren't in their spacing. Three guys were at the top and they had to get into the offense. It took way too long. And frankly, uh, it's a move Brad Stevens, looking back at it, would have uh, called timeout in. You know, I, he all the time in those kind of situations saw plays breaking down and would call a timeout uh, to get things right. And I, that's something I don't remember Missoula doing at all this year. So uh, he'll grow from this. Of course, the timeout discussion evolved as the year went on in general, from not calling timeouts to calling them more often and using them. But to leave two timeouts on the table for a team that's struggling in crunch time, they've lost four out of seven games that have gone to crunch time. They're playing at an 80 pace that ranks 15th in those spots. Uh, it's, it's tough, especially where you could have put that series away in that moment by winning or at least giving yourself another chance in double overtime. Celtics don't even get the shot off there and they're going to have to break a tie here at TD Garden tonight. 2-2 the series, 7.30 tip-off will post-game coverage as well as all coverage throughout on Celtics CLNS and CLNS Media. I'm Bobby Manning here at our back center for the Garden Report. CLNS Media Celtics coverage is brought to you by FanDuel. New customers get a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's bonus bets back if your first bet doesn't win.